Hello mines, it is Crashmaster, and welcome back to another, um, <laughs> I almost forgot the title again, welcome back to another Minecraft Story Mode Season 2 video. And today, mines, as you can see, we are continuing Episode 1, Hero in Resident. And without further ado, mines, we're gonna start right now. So, mines, last time, we basically got this seems to be some sort of prismarine gauntlet or glove attached to our hand, and it won't come off. We have to help Petra, who seems to have lost a bet or a deal, and has to get this so-called legendary llama. And, oh, here we are, right back where we started. I'm going to a neighboring city right here, which it seems to be the the one who Petra made the deal with, owner. And whoa, pretty good. Not as good as our town. <laughs> Not as good as Beacon Town, but pretty impressive. Wow. Whoever the city owner is must love llamas. I have to say, it looks pretty futuristic in a sense. This is it, Champion City. Hmm. Not bad. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. Stella is strict about how things look here. Wow, this is super impressive. Good layout, great colors. I like it. If you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> what? The llama is always so it. stubborn. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind Weird. of know how she feels. I just. Really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. Hey, that's why you've got me, remember? We're a team. We will take care of this no problem. Sure hope you're right. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Hmm. I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. Say that again. All right, but before we do that, let's actually take a, <laughs> let's take a look at this llama statue. I have to say, it looks really good considering that it's not like made of like entirely made of wool or certain blocks. But I have to say, it looks very impressive. The Stella person sure likes her llamas. You might say she likes them better than people. Wow, I wouldn't go that far, but <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a mine entrance, just like in Beacon Town. <laughs> what are the odds of that? There's be a lot of people around too. Wow, that is a classy mine shaft entrance. Didn't know they could look that nice. Ha, huh, yeah. Nothing's allowed in Champion City that doesn't look nice. Stella makes sure of it. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna guess this Stella person's personality. She pr she's probably the type who likes to make deals and probably backs out of it at the end, and she runs the whole place with an iron fist. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> Oh my, we all know the drill, but I have to say, everything looks really clean and nice and like the futuristic like landscape. Look, see, distant cityscape. Can't believe Stella built this whole city. Yeah, but it's all fake. What? Made by people she's tricked into doing it. I'm not even sure she even remembers how to build anymore. Wow. That's just, that's just horrible minds. Minecraft is not the same if you don't even build. It's really not that fun. Honestly, it's really not. Wow, even the flowers are organized. Yeah, mm -hmm. and see the gardeners working on them? They all owe her stuff, too. What? Every town owes Stella something. I think that's where she got most of the materials to build Champion City in the first place. Lots of little trades all add up after a while. Wait, the whole town? How? Yep, she's always finding little reasons that people's trades aren't enough. Making up new rules, well, your sword is one trade Stella won't be getting out of. I'm gonna make sure of it. I'm gonna say that again, Mois. Trust me, if I trade in my own sword back at home, the Crash Master sword, <laughs> I would be furious. I would never trade that sword in. I would never. Well, Mois, I think that's enough looking around. Let's get Petra's sword back and give her back whatever this llama is supposed to be doing. Is this supposed to be like city hall or town hall or something? A meeting area? I guess it is. Whoa, what are those, um, guards? I think those are guards, mites. The, the ones in the gray suits. They look pretty tough. There's Stella. Yes, that's right. Puppies for everyone. No shoving now. We're not beacon towners. <laughs> hey. You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Mites, right, so honestly, I was going to say she wasn't that bad, but after that, yeah, right. Yours. Excuse me. Right 
Excuse me. Co coming through. Excuse me. Which is your out. Uh oh. Oh, Luna, my darling. You came home. You came back. Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? Whoa, that's. He's really tall. And big. Poor Luna. She looks really scared. She's a good girl. Stella. Oh, look who it is. Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. What? I've met her before, right? Um, no. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City. What? Surely you think about it as much as I do. Oh boy. <laughs> Sorry, but you are not my rival. Even my really not. Villains are way scarier than you. <laughs> you say know that again. Mind games you are trying to bring into our rivalry, but I'll tell what? you right now what? that are not going to work on me. What? I think she's delusional. Whoa, okay, what's going on? Uh, I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. They're very cute, but um, oh, it won't even come off. Of course. Oh, I really, really wish I could. I mean, really, but I can't. Oh, too bad. They're very cute puppies. <laughs> oh! You know, I heard you don't do that to a puppy, Mind. Okay, hold it. Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald. <laughs> don't push too hard now. Stop changing the deal around, Stella. It's wrong. Well, I never. The deal hasn't, you know, changed. Sword. I want sword. My sword. I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? What? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh, dear. Petra, sweetie. When exactly were you going to tell me about this? Soon, I swear. Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. Huh, I doubt it. Do you two know the way out? Oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. Say that again. Yeesh. But, uh, to the more important matter... I'm still upset about this, Petra. You lied to me. I yes! Guess. Yeah, I deserve that. But can we please wait till we're out of town to talk about it? Right now, I really need to figure out how I'm gonna get my sword back. I just don't know how we're gonna do that. Stella's treasure room is right there. But I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. You say that again? Look at them! Probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but... That's a lot of barking puppies. There's yeah. Got to be away. Hmm. All right. Let's see. So we have some options. We can fight our way in. Um. <laughs> I'm not too sure about that. Or we can sneak in. Mites. I think it's pretty obvious what we're gonna do. Fight. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Right. We're gonna have to I sneak in. We can handle sneaking through some puppies. Let's stealth it up. Sounds good to me. All right. Here we go. Let's just hope the puppies aren't gonna bark too much. Oh, but there's still guards. We're gonna How be a distraction for those guards. Oh, that thing is so cute. Oh, Petra. I mean, it is really cute, but still. Oh, no. What? Oh, that is quite a few puppies. How are we gonna get through here? What the heck? Working? Is that a skull? Got covered. You have got to be kidding me. That's just creepy. Why? This whole place is creepy. And really weird. All right. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh okay. okay. I see puppies. See, you like bones, right? Hey, go get it. 
Who's a good puppy? Ah, that's right. You go get it. You go get the juicy bone. Who wants the juicy bone? Yes. They're gone. They're gone. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know how many bones we had, but I'm hoping. I really wish we had more than one. Oh! Again. Oh dear. Right, who who wants the bone? You all want the bone? Who wants the bones? You go get the bone, boys! Or girls, go get the boys! Go get the bones! Go get the bones! Whew. Good. Coast is clear. Whew. Alright, Mark. This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. This is a treasure room? Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge blocks. A diamond hoe? What? Yep, all bought from other people. Really? They still have the name tags of other people on them. Why? Really? She's so, she's just fake. Okay, now I'm just getting mad. Being a hero and being cool is more than just having a room full of treasure. Especially treasure you got from other people. Not letting her keep mine, though. Really? None of this is treasures so, whatsoever. Maybe the sponge, but it? really? About what Stella said before. About being Champion City's hero in residence, it's really no big deal. It's, you know, nothing. But how could you pick Champion City? Stella is the worst. I know, I know. It just, uh, it seemed like a good idea at the time, alright? Ugh! No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. Just look at today. We were supposed to go on one adventure, and you were late. I can't even get my friends to spend time with me. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest, and just hearing, oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time? <sighs> yeah, you're right. I mean, of course you're right. I know I haven't exactly been the best friend lately. No! Where'd what? it go? Where'd what? she put it? Wait. What? You're sure it was here. She must have tooking it. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. We gotta hide. We gotta hide. It's Petra, armed with her mighty sword, Miss Butter. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Butter. This is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. You can say that again. Her best friend, the greatest hero in the world, Jesse. This is getting awkward. Together, they can take on. Oh, hi. Hello. Uh, awkward. And creepy. Uh, you, you should not be here. This, this is, um, uh, hmm, this is incredibly awkward. Yes. Yes, it is. Um, actually, I'm pretty flattered. I gotta tell you, Stella, I'm actually a little flattered here. Didn't know you thought so highly of me. Uh, no, no, I, I was <laughs> because Yeah, I sure, you. sure. You can have your dumb sword back. Let's just pretend this whole thing never happened and I will let you go. Hmm. I don't I know. Won't if the... forget this, I don't Jesse. know. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. There's no rivalry. You will rue till still not my rival. Oh man. <laughs> oh damn, my. She must be some sort of like fan in a, in a sense. I think she wants to be our our rival to be just as great as like Jesse, aka us. But oh well. Well, that was actually pretty fast. And by fast. Look at that. So have you back. Evening already. Thank you so much for your help. I know it got a little weird back there. I appreciate you still helping me anyway. Hey, it's all in the past, Petra. I'm just happy to reunite you with your favorite deadly weapon. Oh, <laughs> wow. So Warning. Heck mouth. What? Oh. Okay, this is getting weird and creepy. What is that? Oh no. Moins, what's going on? The ground's shaking. Whoa! Watch out! Oh no. Charge creepers and lava? 
sign didn't stop that. Or those. Well, oh, you've got to be kidding me. And they're charged? That should be impossible. Tell them that. I really hate charge creepers. Normal creepers are bad enough. Oh. Oh, should have brought our diamond one. So good to have you back. Oh no 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 no! Dodge! Whew. Ah. These things just are just getting crazy and crazier. Oh! Don't! All right, boys, here it goes. Yeah! Whoa! Oh, that would have been dumb if it wasn't ah. so awesome. Say that again. Gauntlet's pretty powerful. We need to get this thing covered up again. Oh dear, I don't know about that, but might as well try. Can't let this thing run around loose. All right, here we go. All right, I hope that's enough. I don't know how we're gonna get this to hold. That heck mouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jack's fast. Yeah, I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does. He's gotta. Come on, I'll show you the way. Oh man, Mines, this is not looking good right now. Whew. All right, achievement. What do you know? See a guy about a thing. <laughs> Bad luck, Allie. Wow, I didn't even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. Well, I really appreciate you showing me. I know this is like your thing or whatever, and it's nice of you to share. <laughs> You are such a cornball, but no problem. Well, I do have corny jokes. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so let's hope we can find this Jack guy. Somewhere down here, I think. Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy. Okay, not know him, know him, I know of him. Oh, okay. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. <laughs> oh, what dear. He invites me to go adventuring with him. Well, if I can offer some advice, best thing to do around your heroes is just act like yourself. Otherwise, it's weird for everyone. Be myself. Got it? Got it. Alright, let's just hope we can figure out what this thing is on our hand. All we know is the name. That's just a guess. Alright, let's see. So, where can we find this Jack? Jack oh! And Nerm's Adventure Emporium. What do you know? That was fast. <laughs> Little nope. parrot. That's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. <laughs> really? Wow. Quite the fan, I suppose. All right, mates, here we go. Whoa, emeralds, potions, lots of nice banners, armor. Oh, quite the adventurer. I could give you them. I could give them that, or them. Wow. Whoa, diamond prismarine shard. The Upper Lowlands? Spider Peak Mountain? The Ice Crags of Doom? I have ender, sugar, and dust. Oh my! Right. I'll give I'll give Jack and Norm this. You, Lots Jack of stuff. The best adventurer in town. This stuff is from all over the world. I think you mean best adventurers in town after us. Oh well, yeah, of course I do. You're not jealous, are you? Because that sounded kind of jealous. Maybe a little. Ah, uh, Jesse, don't be so insecure. Just because I'm excited to meet these guys doesn't mean that I think you're any less cool. Push for service. Okay. <laughs> Little buzzer. <clears throat> Welcome to Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. Wait, is that? Oh my gosh, it's him. 
It's this is some sort of tourist attraction. Sorry, I'm I, I'm a big fan. You push the button. Very, very brave. <laughs> just the button. I mean, I don't know how brave it was. I was just doing what the sign said. <laughs> there are lots of signs in the world. Not True. everyone's brave enough to follow them. Where'd he go? And no problem with teleportation? I don't know. He must Warriors be. Warriors of the Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. The Air Titans of the East call me he who slashes like thunder. But you may call me Jack. So cool. So awesome to meet you. Love your shop. Of course it is, and of course you do. Pleasure to have you in today. So, what can I do for you today? Desert Temple? Woodland Mansion? I Whoa! He knows what it is? Yeah! Sounds heavy. That's what we're here about. <laughs> yep. It's heavy. It's crushing my hand. But I'd like to get it off. Uh, uh, wow! Huh? Crazy glove you got there. Not that I've ever seen one before. Uh, looks real crazy, though. Crazy stuff. Jack, look at yourself. We know you're lying. Why? Yeah, look, he's stuttering all over the place. Yeah, come on, Jack. I... that is, uh... uh... Found it on top of a creepy bottomless pit, right? Spitting out monsters. Yep. Yeah. And it had a slot with, like, a weird symbol? <sighs> you should have never picked up that gauntlet. Oh, no. What, hap what happens? What happens? to tamper with. But it was whispering my name. And that made you want to pick it up more? Yeah, kind of. It, it's as deadly as they come. And that symbol you saw was the symbol of the structure block. The structure Legend block? says it was a mighty tool that could grow civilizations like seeds, create cities in the blink of an eye. You need one of those to close your pit. So where can I get one of these structure blocks? Petra thought maybe an ocean monument because of the prismarine? Oh, it's an ocean monument, all right. Cool. The villagers of Mushroom Archipelago call it the Sea Temple. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, that must be Nerm. Oh, no problem. Guys, this is Nerm, my other huh. half. What do you know? He's the genius behind all of our fine maps. Nerm, this is Jesse and Petra. Hmm. Hi. Oh, hi. I was just about to tell these two that I can't help them. What? Wh what? I love your early work. Witherstorm, old builders, awesome. But as a purveyor of fine maps and adventures, your death would be terrible for business. Wh what? Oh, what? really? Sorry. I just can't. Hmm. Jack, come on. Do I really need to list off all the amazing things we've done to prove that we're tough enough to handle this? We can take anything you throw at us. <sighs> Let me show you something. I mean, we fought Palmer, old it's builders, like Winterstorm, lots of stuff. The world's a lot bigger than you think it is, Jesse. He's about to extend the map, isn't he? No way, he- I was just guessing! <laughs> what? what How big is it? No, Moise, you have got to be kidding me. That's like... Hundreds of bo- No way, Moise. How- Wait, what? What's that? There's a block- There's a map missing- Let me guess. The empty square is where we need to go. Yep. And it's missing because... I, uh kind of burned it. I threw it into a volcano, okay? What? Why? You didn't need that kind of danger anyway, all right? I swore I wouldn't take anyone else to that temple ever again. I refused what is... to let it take any more lives. What does he mean hmm. again? <sighs> Shut up, Nerm. What? Jack, you don't understand. We need that map. And I hear you. I really do. But I swear to you, it's not worth it. I found a gauntlet just like that once. Teamed up with my friends Voss and Sammy to follow its trail. Neither of them made it out alive. 
so sorry. Hence, uh, you know, lava, map, volcano. You remember what I was saying? Yeah, 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 we get it. But burning the map couldn't erase the horrible memories. And thanks to the curse of my perfect sense of direction, I couldn't forget the location of that temple if I tried. So, if you're the only one who knows where it is... Yep. Without me, you never get to that sea temple. That uh -oh. knowledge is my curse. Hmm. Jack, I get that you're haunted by horrible memories, but that's no reason to sit around moping. What'd you say? It's time to go get us some treasure and help you face your demons. Yeah! Well, is he okay with this? Well, that sounds to me like a challenge. And no one, and I mean no one, challenges the Velvet Tornado. Me. And gets away with it. How many nicknames does this guy have? <laughs> Nerm. It's like 50. Better adventuring things. Mm. Jesse, it's perfect. Structure block? Sea temple? I know, it's amazing. Almost too good to be true. Ah, uh, yes! So much adventure! Man, he is awesome, right? Ah, uh, I can't believe it! I'm going on an adventure with Jack. Eee! I like him. Can't wait to see him in action out there. I was just thinking the same thing. He actually seems pretty cool. I told you, it's not the admin. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, fine. What did he say? Nothing. Villager stuff. Nerm here. <laughs> wants to make wow. A new map of this place. Uh, what with the uh, whole lava volcano incident. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Easy, Nermy. Don't blow a gasket. What's got you so excited about this one? <laughs> Uh, I wish I could speak villager. I really wish I could. So that means we're off to the sea temple? Don't you think you're looking a little squishy for that? Seriously? Oh. I mean, you're wearing a vest. The <laughs> vest of five fists? Gifted to me by the singing clerics of Port. Okay, jeez, I get it. It's a cool vest. Come on, <laughs> I need to make a quick pit stop and I can... Has a name for every single item he wears. Right here we are. Oh, Jesse, I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Radar. There is a lot going on. Someone still needs to finalize the ideas for the Founding Day banners. The cake baking team can't agree on what color to make the front of their shop. The Woolmakers Guild isn't super happy about their booth being next to the Firework Radar. Union. Understandable. The delegate from Boomtown left word that she wanted to make a speech at the parade. Very odd. Blue hair. Smells like sulfur. Speaking of Radar. which, you should probably work on your Founding Day keynote address. Oh, and rehearse it. Uh, in rehearsal time! St radar! Stupid! Ah, sorry, got in the zone there. Uh, what's up, boss? I see you brought friends? Yep. An accessory? Short version, the town's in danger. I stopped it for now, but I think this can help me fix it permanently. I'll be gone for a little bit. Gone? But, Jesse, what about Beacon Town? Founding day is right around the corner, and if it's really in, in, in danger, who will protect everyone? There's no telling what could happen! And I have so few details. Why don't you try leading them, pal? What? Me? Yeah. This is... Try not to explode. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my ears. Girl scream. <laughs> I won't let you down. I know you won't. Good luck, boss. Beacon Town will be waiting for you when you get back. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, mm. Okay. You said it. Can't believe that's your assistant. He's more wound up than a pack of parrots with a jukebox. Or a <laughs> creeper in a herd of cats. Or a squid in a, I don't know, a box or something. Anyway, he's real nervous is what I'm saying. He's a little nuts, but his heart's in the right place. <clears throat> if you say so. So, where's this armor of yours? Oh, wow. You got some pretty cool stuff here. Stuff I've never... Uh, Probably only seen, <laughs> you know, once or twice. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Stuff, obviously, but uh, you're well on your way. Definitely on your way to becoming a big hero like me. 
Not as big, of course, but, uh, you know, a real, a real great swing. Best part is, there's always another adventure on the horizon. Yeah, like a sea temple. Yeah, okay, not exactly what I meant, but sure. Alright, well, mites, I think that's gonna be the end of the video. I wish, I really, really wish I could keep going on playing this game more. But unfortunately, that's gonna have to wait a couple more weeks until the next video, mites. I am very sorry, because the video is already about 30 minutes long, and I usually like to keep it under 30 minutes, like tw like 20, 25 through 30 minutes around that. But mites, that's the end of the video. I really hope you all enjoy it. Please give a like and subscribe. And if you're excited as much as I am for the next video, don't forget to hit that notification bell so all of you can come back and know when the next video is going to be right around the corner. Later, guys!